It's not that gasoline is expensive these days, but it would never hurt to burn less of it on a daily basis. And this is especially relevant if you're driving an SUV. In today's episode, we'll show you the newest examples of plugged-in models that retain the convenient range capabilities of internal combustion SUVs, but at the same time benefit from zero emission driving and much improved fuel economy in the combined cycle. By the way, now is a great time to subscribe to the channel. If you don't want to miss the upcoming videos, ring that bell and let's get technical. The third generation Turig debuted as a 2019 model sitting on the VW Group's MLB platform, used across a number of Audi and Porsche vehicles. In 2021, the midsize is getting a new Performance R version that sports a blacked out exterior, exclusive cabin design, and PHEV drivetrain. The SUV comes motivated by a 3 liter V6 paired with a 136 horsepower electric motor and 14.1 kilowatt hour battery. This setup produces a total output of 462 horses and 516 pound feet of torque sent to all four wheels via an 8 speed Triptronic. Judging by these numbers, the Touareg R gets the same powertrain components as the Porsche Cayenne e-Hybrid, so we should expect around 20 miles of all-electric range. The smallest Lincoln crossover went on sale in 2019, and this year it's debuting with a newly developed PHEV drivetrain. Crossover is built over the same platform as the new generation Ford Escape, though it's distinguished by a more sophisticated exterior, luxury interior, and richer tech package. The powertrain setup of the Corsair includes a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine paired with a permanent magnet electric motor, producing around 266 horses. The motor's juiced by a 14 kilowatt hour floor mounted battery. This sounds quite similar to the Ford, though the model actually differs in a big way, getting Lincoln's first electric all wheel drive system with a separate electric motor to power the rear axle. Starting from 2020, Jeep is getting plugged in. The subcompact Renegade and compact Compass SUVs are becoming the first models to go through the electrification and wear the 4XE badge. These two are built on the same small wide FCA platform and will be sharing the PHEV powertrain that consists of turbocharged 1.3 liter four cylinder engine, a single motor and an 11.4 kilowatt hour pack. Fiat Chrysler has already passed the fully equipped first edition duo for the European market within the 39 through 43,000 euros range. But we should be seeing more affordable modifications later in the production cycle. Finally, the Wrangler is expected to become the next Jeep model to get the PHEV powertrain, so stay tuned not to miss it. The new RAV4 Prime is the most powerful and efficient crossover from the brand so far, 
and the second fastest production Toyota behind Supra. It enhances the usual hybrid powertrain with new motor generators, a booster converter, and a larger lithium-ion battery. As a result, the setup built over the 2.5-liter Atkinson Cycle 4-cylinder outputs 302 horses. The claim numbers suggest 39 miles of pure electric driving and 90 EPA estimated MPGE. The RAV4 Prime will be offered in two trims, SE and high-end XSE, which gets standard 7-inch digital dashboard, 8- or 9-inch infotainment with Amazon, Apple, and Android compatibility, as well as a rich set of safety features. The 2020 model year marks the revival of the Escape Hybrid range, represented by the already available regular hybrid and the top-of-the-line PHEV model. That'll go on sale in 2020. The latter combines a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine running on Atkinson cycle, a single electric motor, and a 14.4 kilowatt-hour battery. This setup promises more than 30 miles of EV range and produces 209 horses, which are directed to the front wheels via the company's power split electronic CVT. Just as the rest of the Escape range, the PHEV gets redesigned exterior, standard Copilot 360 safety tech, and plenty of options, including a 12.3 inch digital cluster, a head up display, and a panoramic Vista roof. Your feedback about this episode is absolutely crucial, so review the entire lineup and let us know what is your favorite entry in the comments below. Like this video and let's get back to awesome EVs. The X5 is BMW's all-in-one vehicle, big enough for a family and cargo in the boot, just in the right amount of premium and performance, plus now it becomes more efficient with the introduction of an xDrive 45E PHEV powertrain. The developers recognize that this vehicle will likely be used as a daily driver, so the hybrid setup seamlessly transitions between the twin-turbo 3L inline six-cylinder gasoline and the all-electric mode achieving up to 40 miles of emissionless driving in the latter. The interior of the vehicle is gorgeously decorated with leathers, while the infotainment system is one of the best in the business. By the way, if the X5 is too big for your needs, in 2020 BMW electrifies the rest of the crossover lineup as well, in the form of the X1, X2, and X3. Just like its smaller sibling, Corsair, the upper trims of the mid-size Aviator are receiving an electrified powertrain to expand the capabilities of the V6 engine. In this case, an electric motor is placed between the 3-liter twin-turbo and 10-speed select-shift transmission. As a result, this Lincoln now makes 494 horsepower and 630 pound-feet of torque. The 13.6 kilowatt-hour battery will guarantee 20 miles of zero emissions driving, and can boost the mileage to 30 to 34 miles per gallon. However, the major benefit of the EV transformation is the added dynamism on the road. The 5,800-pound 7-seater can go to 60 miles an hour in 5.5 seconds. 
The new Aviator is a luxury yacht on wheels with 12-way adjustable front seats, quad zone climate control, panoramic vista roof, and adaptive air suspension with road preview. Though many of this year's PHEV newcomers are not going to make it to U.S. shores, the Audi Q5 is among the few select models that already have. Its plug-in version, named the 55 TFSI E Quattro, went on sale in America this spring, boasting 25 miles of all-electric range, courtesy of a 14.1 kilowatt-hour battery. Other components of the SUV's drivetrain include a 2-liter 4-cylinder turbo aided by a 142-horsepower motor, a 7-speed DCT, and an AWD. The total system output is rated at 362 horses and 369 pound-feet of torque, improving this Audi's 0-62 timing to 5 seconds. The model's maximum speed is 138 miles per hour, while on electric power alone, it can drive at 85 miles per hour. Thank you for visiting our channel, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the like button and don't think twice about watching more episodes about electric vehicles. The links are waiting for you on the screen. See you later.